15, uh, 3 sum, given an array of numbers, like we need to find that a plus b plus 3, the sum of them are 0. So find the unique triplets in an array which gives sum to 0. So for this one, yeah, the solution is this. So these three sum up to 0. Should we have to do the 2 sum, right? We just, uh, for that, we just uh, we use an uh, uh, extra uh, map to store uh, the, the, the existence of another array, uh, another of the number. And uh, when we are, then we traverse through the uh, integer array and we just check the counterpart. If it exists, if it exists, yeah, it is done. So, but now we need to find all the solutions for uh, the possible uh, three numbers that sum up to zero. How we're gonna do it? The first one is brute force. Yes, we can always traverse through all the. If we use brute force, it's gonna be because we use there are three numbers, so it's definitely gonna be uh, the cubic and. It's not it's not good so it's gotta be it's not good but uh, if we have any have a better solution hmm. If the uh, if the array is not ordered, we can't do nothing because we don't know where to start. So the only one is, one thing is that we first we sort them. Okay, let's let's figure out all the uh, like the const result equals this. If the length is not enough as three, uh, three not enough. That, We return result, okay, and then we sort in the numbers. We just sort it, maybe a minus b, so in the ascending order. So this will cost us because if we use sort, we we could do it like. Uh, log n, log log n. Sort, quick sort. What 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 is the complexity of quick sort? Yeah, we can improve this. And generally, we can use to log n. Okay, and then. Since the numbers are ordered, like uh, minus one, minus one, zero, minus four, minus one, minus one, zero, one, two. And now we just say, because we have three numbers, we just put this one, traverse in one pass, and then take it as the left side, the first number. And then we t take a look at the other two numbers. We can use a two pointer to these kind of stuff. The sum of that because we're sum of them, uh, like for to for, uh, minus four, and we take minus one, and this is ordered. We sum of the first one and the last one, just like the container with water. We sum up to one because it's big. I cannot move minus one, right? Because it's going to be bigger. So if it's just bigger than uh, four, bigger than uh, no, if it's bigger than. Uh, wait a minute, so this is minus 1, so it's smaller than 0. This is, is fixed. We need to make it bigger. I cannot move 2, because 2, we, we, we move 2 backwards, so we only can move minus 1. And this is bigger, we can move 2. So with this pass, we can actually, for the first loop is on, and the other one is actually n. 
right? So actually, the total, the total, total is actually O and quadratic. Okay, so we traverse through the first numbers i nums the length i plus plus take a fix i number as left one okay we fix it so now let let j equals i plus one let k equals nums that's length Minus one. So okay. So here should be minus two. Wow. J is smaller than k. If nums i i plus nums j plus nums k. Okay. We need to calculate the space because this is this is the largest one. So here total plus this equals the, the, the final time complexity is this space uh, we use a result but hmm what is the result of this well it's I don't know it's just you could use some just if any three of them matches to zero in that case, it should be like this. Mm, okay, C and three. V this is right form. I don't know. It means uh, what I want to see. What I want to say is uh, okay. This this. Mm. If in handwriting, I would say like this. Anyway, if it's zero, this is a deep deep question, but I don't, I don't think I can handle this. Please search on the internet to see what the x uh, possible uh, space complexity. So let the result push possible is nums nums i nums j nums k. Okay, this is used many times as some. Oh, sum. Okay. Sum is this. If sum is equal to zero, we say we push it. So we can move. Yeah. If, if we change it a little bit, it will gonna change our result. We only yeah we, we only can we can uh, plus it one and minus one okay but okay we say f like this mm -hmm. wait a second if it is equal to zero it's bigger and move smaller so it could be also be mm. Okay, okay, I see. So if it is sum is smaller than zero, we will move j a little bit. Else is no, it's not else. If sum is bigger than zero, with k will minus one. It's gonna we find a result, return result. Okay, we run the code. I want to speed up, but I don't have the money. <laughs> oh, mm, I don't want to be, oh, result. Unexpected token. Mm -hmm. What's the token? Sh oh, there should be an extra. Uh, bracket, not bracket. 
let's just uh what is this brace brackets parenthesis hmm. Results. God. Oh, we made a mistake because we have duplicates. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's take a look at this one. This one. We first we got minus four, uh, minus one, two. We could just smaller, we move it here, smaller, move here, not enough, here, not enough, stop. Minus one, minus one, two. We got it. And then we moved one, zero. Okay, got it. And then we move i to minus one, zero, two, it's big, minus one, got it. So actually the problem is minus one, zero, one, and zero, one, zero, uh, minus one, zero, one. Uh, so if it is minus one, we check all the possible solutions. And then we use minus one again. For the final result, if there is only one minus one, then we can actually safely skip because all the possibilities with this minus one are already matched with uh, for this possible solution with this minus one is already matched with this minus one so uh, we can just skip it if there's a chance that both of them are there if both of them are there then it is already checked with this minus one right okay so if there the, this is also still minus one then this must be checked. If this okay, so anyway, so if this is the minus one, if say if this minus one minus one this one, then it must be already checked with this minus one minus one this one. So we can actually. Just to jump is straightforward to next uh, non minus one thing, right? How to improve? How can we prove it? Okay, so if any one number, any triplets with starting this minus one, we can actually check with this already with this minus one. Yeah, so that's that. Yeah. It's very simple, right? It's minus one. And these two, it's really check with this minus one. So we can just, uh, yeah, 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 right, sure. Okay, so we will jump, not jump plus one, but move to the next number, different number. Okay, for let let m equals j plus one, m is smaller than nums length minus one, m plus plus. Why I use a four? I don't want to write while with the extra let. Uh, if that's the case, I can just use J. So, oh yeah, so actually, we, we should use while. Um, if next one, if next number, um, Okay, okay, so let's just first move, move it at once. Okay, move to the next one. If it is the same as this one, we'll move it again. So while 
uh, nums j nums j equals this one j plus one this will move to the next different number so we'll do the same with k k k minus one while nums k k we'll move it to the next one again mm. this one should solve us the problem mm, no it doesn't solve us the problem J okay we met we met this one right J I I move this uh uh God we should move I not J man Wait a second. If there's uh, like, uh, wait, zero. If this is still minus one and this two. This one, okay, zero. And then we move again to zero. So, Should move i to the next non i. Why? Because you move to the next one, uh, the same to you, unless the next one is also you. It doesn't make a difference. If next one is you, then you should stop, right? So this should be. Uh, should be right. So, mm, okay, so minus one, we got this zero, and then we move to this one, it's still zero, okay? So now we move this one to this minus one, but we should not move to this minus one. We should jump to the next not i. Hmm, so we should do the same. Okay, so, so at the follow for loop here, we finally will add one here. So I would say if while k, while numbers i, plus one equals nums i, then i plus one. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So it's accepted. Let's also Add the command here. Yeah, the problem here is like, like duplicate numbers. So that's all for this uh, problem. Uh, see you next time.